Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus, and today we are at NVIDIA's press conference at CES 2019. You can see the crowd behind me, super excited to hear what NVIDIA is going to be announcing. Welcome to CES. I have so much to tell you guys, so I'm going to get going. The RTX 2060. So the RTX 2060, RTX 2060, 52 teraflops of tensor core processing, five giga rays per second, six gigabyte frame buffer, G6, the fastest memories in the world, 2060, is available for $349. These four key technologies are gonna form the foundation of the future of computer graphics. Everything you saw, all the lightings, all the shadow, all the animation, everything, all the ray tracing, 100% of it was in real time. This is what RTX enables. This new form of computer graphics that brings together rasterization, ray tracing for the things that it just simply can't do, artificial intelligence, and programmable shading that we invented 15 years ago. RTX on, RTX off, notice the, sh the reflections were all broken. Notice the soft shadows and it's interacting with the light and it's combined with the light of the head, all being spun in real time. It's not nearly as exciting as it is with ray tracing on. Um, but of course we even have yeah, with ray tracing on again, we can move to the car. We're gonna bundle with 2060 and 2070, you get either Anthem or Battlefield 5. So you can enjoy DLSS or DLSS and ray tracing on Battlefield 5. And with 2080 and TI, you get Anthem and Battlefield 5. We're announcing 40 notebooks for RTS. It's a gigabyte 2080 notebook. 2080 RTX laptop. And lastly, VR. Four million HMD VR displays have been sold for PCs in the last several years. There are now 3,800 games in Steam. It's being used for architectural design, automotive showrooms, virtual showrooms. One of the most exciting and interesting applications is um, uh, virtual movie sets. Basically, <coughs> audio, video, Data and power now comes from one wire. It's called a virtual link. And so the number of wires no longer hang all over you. Just one elegant wire that connects you, connects the GPU to the head mount display. The second thing is using multi-res rendering and eye tracking. If the head mount display has eye tracking, then the multi-res, the variable uh, resolution rendering, allows us to reduce the, the resolution rate on the outside of the peripheral division and focus all of that computation to the center. So we could either improve the resolution, improve the computation of detail, or reduce the load and therefore increase the performance. 